Hello ladies, this is Monica from Uniquely For You Crafts. If you're 18, under 18 years of age, please do not view this video presentation. Today, I would like to share with you a book that I made using the new uh, Graphic 45 Fairy Wings. This collection just came out. Uh, I haven't seen too many people do it on YouTube. I'm sure people are starting to work on it. So I uh, decided to do a scrapbook and this is what I came up with. This book is eight by eight with a four inch spine on both sides. This is a gatefold scrapbook. This is the side uh, with the white trim and the lace and the um, bead and the flower. I'm gonna come back to the front. And that's the back, it just has the signature page on the front cover of the book. As you can see, <clears throat> I have the signature page with the fairy and I uh, put some glossy access on the fairy. I also have the fairy wings title down here with glossy accents on it with the nice butterfly that I put <clears throat> some glitter glue on it and the cluster of roses here at the top corner. I glossy accent some of the flowers on this side as well and put a nice purple and a little tiny white rose. So make sure you see it all in view. I'll turn it this way so you can get a good view of it. It was a, a nice invention. And I did something different this time. I'm gonna open it up, it's a gatefold. I actually made some fairy dust. And you can see the fairy dust on this end of the page and it says fairies. And I put a nice purple trim here with some lace. Um, <clears throat> this is my first time trying this. I'm sure that other people have done it. I used my heat laminator to make this and it's gonna match all the way over to the other side, which I'll show you in a minute. The first page, I made a glitter page on the first page here. And on this page, you can see it's a glitter, it's a clear. I put this tag in so you can see that you can put a tag here in the front you can put one right here in the back. You can add white tags or tags in the collection. This one says, let your dream soar on that tag. I also um, have a little saying here at the bottom. May you uh, touch the butterflies and as far as they can uh, fly. And with fairies for life. It's a little tighter that came with the uh, paper sheet, then you open this up. I put some roses here. You open this page up and you'll see the clear page from the back with the fairy dust on this side. And this side here in the center, you have the one of the paper at the collection that says dream with the fairy wings make a wish. You open it up and you have a plain side here. I used some purple basil paper and I made a tag book to go here and the little tags out of the collection and stickers. Open it up to this side. The signature page is here. I just put it here. It's your choice. If you want to put a photo there, it was just so pretty. So I left it like it was. And this side is identical to the other side. So then you close this back. Close this with a magnet. I'm going to put this tag back in here. And on the next page is yellow on this page. This is all from the same collection. So we're gonna go over to this page first. On this side, I have a waterfall. And with my waterfalls, I use an acetate on my waterfall and I put a little flower and a little piece of circle paper in the back of it. Graphic 45 paper It's double-sided. So you can flip it up and flip it down so you can have room for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven photos on the front and the back. So that's 15 photos. Plus I gave you some photo mats. And this is one of my books I make. I use the scraps piece to make the design and I made an open book here and a white five by seven photo mat, which is 110 card stock. 
so you can map pictures on it. So I'm gonna slip these back in. They slip in easy. Put the rows back down, it snaps with a magnet. And in the center, I was gonna put some floral here, but I didn't want it to be too tight. So I just used the paper that matched the particular section, which I use yellow here. This next page, the sister page to it says dreams with the fairy out of the uh, paper collection. She's also glossy accent uh, with the flowers on the glossy. I put a cute butterfly and a flower cluster, cluster in the corner there. Then you open this book up and you have the yellow uh, insert that says dream and wishes. And on both sides, they're the same. Both sides have a tag, two tags, a small and a little tag. And once again, 110 is the best thing for you to use when you're doing a book. Okay, I'm gonna show you this feature just so you'll know each page also has a, a slider on the outside that's five by seven. I'm gonna keep this out, but I want to let you know that each one had one. The next section is this blue page. And I use glossy accents on the bubbles. If you can see it, I'm bringing it up close and get a good view of it. And um, I used one of the cards from the collection and I trimmed it out with some bling that I got from the Hobby Lobby. Nice blue and silver trim. It opens up this way, bring this over. And on this side, you have a magnetic pocket here you can stick tags back behind it if you like and you can add more photos you can put a photo back here if you like this comes over this has a pocket with two in it same thing on this side this is another photo photo section as well and this is also the tags that match this side of the book as well and this is the center page of it so let me let you get a good view of that. I thought it was beautiful. Uh, blue is one of my favorite colors that I love and it snaps back nicely. The sister page to it is also blue and it has the nice fairies. I didn't want to cover up the fairies on this. I use glossy accents on this side too on the bubbles that the fairies have. I put this nice trim that I had already in my stash and as I told you, I got this pretty blue trim, blue and silver trim from the Hobby Lobby. You open this up and the top page here has a pocket on the top page and it has two tags in it. And on this on this page, I made it that I took some of the, the cards out of the collection and mounted them onto the pocket holder and this is just a big pocket in the center here with tags in it you can still add a lot of tags plenty of room space nothing is sticking here and this just says feel the magic so plenty of room for more pictures okay turn it over to this side and it's like a peach color i like it as well as paper collection was gorgeous this is the side with the peach. On this side, I made two pockets with a tag and I put a little rhinestone on it. Plain in the back and they stick in. These are three by three tags. Uh, these are some butterflies I got from my Dollar Tree haul. So I put them in here because they had the little pearls on them. And the bottom I have lace and some peach bling that match the paper exact. So it opens up this way. I love stuff with a surprise. And this is the top page of the book. And it has the stripes and the butterflies from the paper collection. Which the butterflies came from uh, the Paris um, theme. I can't think of the exact title of it, but it was another paper collection they had that had these butterflies in it. And it had all of the pastries and stuff. I did make a cookbook out of that. And that is already posted on my channel. Um, but this paper, the stripes and stuff came with the collection. I used one of the fairy stickers here. And then you open it up. You have another piece from the collection. 
and I also included a tag here. Plenty of room still for you to put more tags. It's a little tuck space. Put more tags and photos on the back, and the bottom is just plain. Close that up. And on this side, I call this as a uh, reverse a reverse gate fold because it's up and down. That's what I call it. Uh, gate. But it's like reverse because the gate fold is the opposite direction. So on this one, I use one of the cards that says Dream. has the nice flowers on it. And I put uh, some peach bling in the center and also included one of the butterflies. The same trim that's on the other page. This opens in the top has a nice little pocket with a tag in it. And it sticks back in nice and easy. Except when you're doing a video, stuff always messes up sometimes. Then you come here and I have a diagonal page and it has two tags in it. It's still plenty of room to put photos. And remember all 40 slots have the, the um, five by seven, so you can actually have two, four, six, eight, five by sevens inside this piece too. And the bottom matches the same. And the very last page of the book gives the true theme of the fairy dust. This is the back base of the page. I'll start here. This is the back of the page. And here I made a lift tag with the fairy wings. And here's one of the tags out the collection. I stuck it back here so you can see that you could put other things back here as well. Plenty of room for more photos. Here, and it sticks right back in like that. On this side, this is a waterfall. Also, behind the waterfall, you have room for pictures. So this is an unusual waterfall. I saw a couple of people do this one time before. So what they do is, is they put a base for the waterfall and in the back, they leave it open. So you can put photo mats behind it and they slide in and out easily. I just put two white photo mats. You can actually put more in here, add more pictures. And with this waterfall, I still do my signature with the acetate. And I always put a flower, it folds up. And on these, I used the cards and the paper collection, but on the back, I left them white. So um, you can mount your pictures. That's three, four, uh, five, six, and the back page. So it folds down nicely. Come over. So I ended up coming back over to the other end of the book, made it the same. I put the pixie dust paper here on the end. And once again, my fairy dust on the last side. So it's on the front and the back with the fairy dust. Make sure you get a good view. And this page says, make a wish. So I enjoyed making this book. I've had a couple of people ask me, that they want to purchase it and put it in their scrap room. So I probably just go with the highest bidder on it. But I just wanted to make sure I shared it with everyone. This is Monica from Uniquely For You Crafts. If you like this video, hit the like key. And also, if you want to, you can subscribe to my channel. Um, it will be greatly appreciated. And I always give you a heart and a response. And go back and view your channel and join your channel. Uh, it's good to share and have these beautiful things to share with people, especially when uh, all the stuff that's going on in the world with the virus is going around. If you need to reach me, my email address is mmr4117 at gmail.com. This is Monica from Uniquely For You Crafts. Have a good afternoon, ladies. Thank you.